Hey, what's up guys? Today we'll be continuing our latest topic on how to grow spiritually as Christians. Welcome to part two, coming up next. My name is Nick Acosta, and I'm here to invite you to grow with me as I grow with God. So let's grow. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you can be blessed with new content in the future. Getting new subscribers helps us know that we are making a difference on here and it encourages us to continue putting out free content. We want to continue helping you guys grow in Christ. So please do us that one favor. On the latest video, we touched on four things that we can implement to our daily lives in order to grow in our relationship with God. If you haven't watched part one yet, click on that tab up here or in the description box to watch it now. And then you can come back to this one once you're all caught up, okay? Today, I'm going to be giving you four things to implement to your life in order to start growing as a Christian. Now, I have to be honest, what I'm going to be listening today means absolutely nothing if you aren't willing to deny yourself more than you have before. You must be really committed to make your life all about Jesus if you call yourself a follower and disciple of Jesus, okay? I mean, that's what being his follower is all about, leaving all to make Christ and his teachings your new life. So it's time to work at it, right? All right, the number one thing to start implementing to your walk with God is for you to start making time every morning or right after work, right after school, to spend private time in prayer with God. The reason why I say in the morning or after work or school is because if you wait too long, you might find yourself either too busy or too tired or too sleepy um, to pray. Prayer involves you thanking God asking God, giving him your burdens, your problems, repenting of your sins, praying for other people, and things like that. Don't sweat it. Just remember, he's real and he wants you to speak to him daily. Remember that he is your father and creator, not some distant, non-personal statue idol thing somewhere. Okay? Do this daily, guys. And if this is new to you, start at five minutes if you want, then move up to 10, 20, 30 minutes, and you will start to know God like you're supposed to. I'm telling you. Number two, take some time out of your day every day to read the Bible. You can read it after prayer, during your lunch break, after work, after dinner, whenever. The thing is that saving it for last can bring about what I mentioned with prayer, tiredness or getting caught up with putting your baby to sleep, time with your spouse, cleaning up or something like that, right? So try to do it while people are asleep or before things get crazy and busy and loud in your house, right? <laughs> I know what happens, trust me. I know. <laughs> you can start with 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes a day, and increase that time as your commitment gets stronger and as your hunger for truth gets greater. You're gonna love it. Trust me, believe me, I guarantee it. To read is to find out about your God, your Savior, and friend, and to find out about your new identity, potential, and purpose in Christ Jesus. To read is also to fill your mind with the truth that you need to be free from the mindset that obeys the flesh and not God. This is called the renewing of the mind. And as you get to know the truth, as Jesus promised, you will be set free. Praise God. Number three, go on Amazon, YouTube, Google, your local Christian bookstore, Barnes & Noble, or whatever other bookstore you can find or website there is to see what Christian books are available that match what you want to grow in. Not a book that just looks entertaining or easy. Not a book about someone's testimony or supernatural experience that's really just going to entertain you. I'm talking about a book that mentions scripture a whole lot and that teaches you something that will help you grow. Let's grow. That's the key. A book that will teach you and help you 
not a time passer or a story for entertainment, okay? Try to find a book that fits your goal and go after it. Like a book on prayer, a book on reading God's word, a book on your identity in Christ, a book about renewing the mind, and topics like those that will help you be transformed and get serious in your relationship with God and living life as a Christian. That is our goal, right? Once you find that book, start reading it little by little, whenever you can. It'll be relaxing and it will be very, very helpful for your growth, I guarantee. Number four and the last thing to implement in your life for growth is to start spending time with other believers that are hungry for God and for change too. This is so, so important. This can mean you going to church. This can mean you going to Bible study, Christian fellowships and get togethers with people who are hungry. Not just Christians who like to talk about football all the time and food and music. Not anybody lukewarm, but hungry believers. This will help you. This will help you to talk about God more, share what you've been learning, pray for one another, bounce thoughts and ideas off of each other, and it'll help you just to get inspired and encouraged by the body of Christ. The body of Christ is so important for growth. I'm telling you guys, watching Facebook lives, YouTube videos, things like that, that's great. But being around believers face to face and getting together in Christ's name is more beneficial and sharpening for us. So try that out. There you have it, guys. Another four ways to grow spiritually as Christians. If you're thinking about giving these four things a try, like this video and leave a comment below telling me that. Telling me, well, telling me that I didn't waste my time making this video, right? <laughs> I'll be praying for you and believing for your growth. Let me know how this goes, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to leave a like and comment. Unfortunately, reality is that YouTube will only recommend the channels and the videos that have good amounts of engagement, views, and subscribers. So if we helped you in some way today, the best and easiest way for you to thank us is by subscribing and leaving a like and a comment for us. It's so easy and quick to do. I'll see you next time. And thanks for growing with me as I grow with God. Bless you guys.